guys doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Looking fly? I'm sure you look very fly as well. I'm underdressed. That's okay. Doing good. No business casual. That's all right. All right. Second stream. We're back. I'll wait for like a couple more people to trickle in. I can't tell from OBS how many people are watching right now, but that's okay. I'm not good. Why aren't you good? What happened? Hello. Look at all these first time chatters. What's happening, guys? How you guys doing? Is this Beetle Moses from the Cold Cuts podcast? It is. You guys should be listening to that podcast, too. Um, I had a bad day, and I'm stressed out with classes. Guess what? I'm sorry to hear that, but your day just got a lot better because we're just going to be chilling on this stream, and I got something good for us to draw today. If you guys want to draw with me, I think it'll be fun. All right, guys. I know some of you guys have already been here. Some of you are new. I'm going to kind of go through the same little spiel that I did last time, and then we'll, like, get into it. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. Okay. I'm going to bring this in first here. Remember this from last time? Listening to the Bugs to Men album, it bangs. Hell yeah. First time in chat. Welcome to all the newcomers. These are... The Beatle Commandments. We went over these last time. Some of you will remember. Uh, they might be new to some of you guys. So, here's a story. Number one. Do not be too hard on yourself. Alright? I want you guys to follow along. I'm going to be drawing something. It's a little bit more complicated, I think, than the last time that we drew. The last thing that we drew. But, um, I'm going to go really slow. So, there's no reason, I think that any of you guys won't be able to do this one as well. But just in case if you're having trouble or you need to slow down, just message in the chat. We're going real slow. And if you don't like how it's coming out, don't worry about it. It's just for fun. We're just having fun. Number two, go at your own pace. So kind of like what I just said, I'm going to go really slow, but you can go even slower. I'm also, uh, I'm going to be pausing in between so you'll have plenty of time to catch up. And if you need to leave at any time, that's okay too, because I'm going to upload this whole video to YouTube if you want to follow along. Okay, and then number three is try new things. It's how you get better. So today we're going to be drawing something that if you guys don't draw a lot, it might be new to you, but that's okay because we're going to go slow. And when we draw it this one time, you're going to be able to say that you know how to draw this because you'll be able to recall on it from memory. Okay, I'm going to move this up here. We're going to get back to this. Okay. How's everybody doing? Does everybody have a pen and pa a pen and paper? Is everybody ready to go? I'm putting this... We're, last time we, we did it, it was flipped this way. This time we're flipping this way. Because I think it's going to work better for the drawing that we're doing. You have a pen and paper. Okay, good, good, good. Alright. I'm not coloring anything in today. You don't have to draw this. Just draw. Just bring your attention right here. Okay? You don't have to draw that. We're not going to color anything in, but I did see some people last time when they were sending me their um, their drawings that they had colored them in, like after the fact, which is awesome. Uh, so if you want to color it in, that's great too. I always color my drawings in when I post them to Twitter, but for this case, I told you guys you only need a pen and paper. Okay, let's get it popping. And if you have any questions along the way, you can kind of just message me. I'm going to be, my attention is going to be down here, but I'll be looking at the chat occasionally too. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be drawing something, a little funny Spider-Man drawing that I thought of. Alright, I drew it. I have it on an index card here, but I'm not going to show it to you because I want it to be a secret. But I have it here as a reference for myself. Alright, here's how we're going to start. Make sure you give yourself a lot of room. Like, basically, this where I'm drawing on here, I'm going to zoom in at times, but draw this small because it's a little bit of a busy drawing. I'm going to zoom in first to make things easier for myself. Let's see here. All right. That's a little better. That's even better. All right. So we're going to start close to the top. Hang on a sec. Oh, and for you guys that were watching last time, you might remember that I ran into some, like, technical difficulties. Um fixed it i figured out what the problem is so it's not going to happen again this time we might run into a different technical difficulty but not the same one all right so we're going to start with this this is spider-man's head 
Okay. It's a little circle that looks like that. And now you can draw along with me. Alright. And then his little eyes, he's going to be looking kind of surprised. So he's like that. And like that. Those are his Spider-Man eyes. Okay. Let's move it down a little bit. Now, this is his arm. Now, usually when I'm drawing figures, especially things like Spider-Man, it's a lot easier for me in pen. I always do things in pencil first so I can like plot everything out. So normally what I'll do is I'll draw sort of like a sketch of what the what the body's going to look like like that and that like shoulders and this and whatever. Don't don't draw that. All right. In this case, it's kind of goofy. I have no background in um figure drawing. And I actually think that's okay. I would like to be better at figure drawing, but I think for like certain funny things, it's actually um, kind of cool if you're like goofing around a little bit. So it's okay if it's not perfect. Sometimes it adds to the humor. But remember what I said last time. We do this thing where we start with the hands. So we have everything blocked out and then we move to the limbs and stuff. So we're gonna start with his, like that. That's his little thumb. And that's his closed fist. You guys see that? Thumb, closed fist. And just to make things kind of like, so you can see where this is going. Whoops. This is the thread that he's holding, the web. Right? And Spider-Man kind of has these like, wrap around. You with me so far? That was a little complicated, so if I'm going too fast, just tech just write in the thing, alright? Okay. So now we're gonna do his little arm leading in. This may not even be perfect, right? Right off the bat. But that's okay. We're gonna start with his shoulder and his little wink. Okay. And then this one coming down this way like that how's that how's it looking so far is everybody feeling okay with that Look, we, that already looks pretty good honestly okay next whoops kind of does that weird thing next we're going to draw his other shoulder just so we can get an idea of what that back part looks like and I lied, this one I think we actually are going to draw his little arm going back first, and then we'll draw the fist, his other hand. Arm, okay, and an elbow, arm, going down. It's okay if you drew the hand really big. Yeah, he's looking kind of swole, right? It's a cartoon, it can be big. This hand is going the other way, and it's in a little bit of a weird position, so if it feels a little, like, you know complicated that's okay just go slow with me all right this is going to be his first little pinky hand pinky finger closed fist like that see that how do i draw the lingering guilt over his death of uncle ben you'll you're gonna see yeah, that's that's coming okay okay like that those are his little fingers and here's this fist does his thumb and his closed fist just like that how's everybody how's everybody doing so far this is not young spider-man but a beef boy that's true okay just like that his little arms good how's everybody looking all right now his little back is gonna he's kind of art he's gonna be arching his back, kind of like how I'm slouching right now. So, just draw it, a little curved, just to like there. Okay, I'm gonna show you why. Let's zoom out. Do I have room here? How are we doing? Yeah, we'll be all right. This is what we're gonna draw now. He's gonna be kind of scrunched up a little bit. Good. 
his little back part is going to be torn. This little, this little butt is going to be exposed. Okay. That's his little ass hanging out. Leave that there. Here's Here comes his leg. Upper leg. Down. And his foot. Like that. And we can even connect this leg to the arm like that. And then his other leg is kind of, he's actually in like kind of a cannonball. So other legs up here and the bottom of the foot is down there. <laughs> can you see? Okay. And now icing on the cake is right here. And make, make sure you make a little Y. That's for where his ass crack is. Just like that. How's that? Okay, there's more to the drawing. This is just the first part of the drawing. Oh, and definitely we're gonna wanna, well, we're gonna wanna add some parts of his suit. So I actually brought up, like we did last time, I have a reference for us so we can look at that. Okay. I'm gonna show, pull it up. So I found this one online. This is apparently, this is a official art from the new spider-man movie that's coming out okay so look at that with me all right spider-man is kind of a crazy suit the reference is just gay porn no this is real this is real um spider-man has a pretty cool suit design but we're only going to be focusing on that back bit back there which i think without looking at it, it would have been kind of complicated all right let's see can i still draw here so look he's got that big spider on the back all right, this, and then the shoulders are red and he's got this little hip bit as well. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back up here so we can have some room, but I'm gonna be looking at this. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna start with that big spider, but we're gonna simplify it a bit. Circle, and then these are his little legs circle legs remember there's four on each side because it's a spider how's that and then he's got this little hip bit boom boom okay and then he's got all right let's see where it goes on the arm here see what i just drew on his little forearm am i going too fast guys i'm going kind of fast right Start with that little line on the forearm. Tell me if I need to slow down. And it goes under. And over. Up to like there. A little slower. Okay, I'll go a little bit slower. Let's see. So all we did in that last bit. Here, I'll even undo, because we'll redo it together. Okay. We have the thing on the bottom, or the, what do you call it? The spider. We got that hit bit. Okay. And now we're going to draw, this is the tough part. This is like the blue bit of his suit. You're going to have to trust me, because I'm looking at the reference here. Line on the forearm up to the elbow over to the armpit okay and then across his shoulder over the spider keep going and it goes up to like here ish like that okay and we're also how are we doing is everybody is everybody caught up here we're gonna give them these spider senses all good all right and here's the other part of the drawing so that was the first character that we did he looks really good spider-man looks good oh i almost forgot a bit also he's got the little his little this one right there this is definitely one that i think would like 
lend itself to some color. So if you guys wanted to color it in, if you have the materials to after, I would highly encourage that. All right, now we still have the bottom bit of the drawing here. Even I took up a lot of room here, but I think we're still gonna have room to do what I wanna do. So basically what we're gonna draw is the green goblin is flying by on his uh, glider and it's snagged on the on the ass of his uh, <laughs> of his costume and it ripped off. So what we're going to do, oh yeah, I did draw the bottom pin already. That's true. I'm gonna use this, hang on a sec, where'd it go? As a reference. Okay. Now, obviously, we're not gonna keep, we're not gonna make it that complicated, but that's just so we can kind of see what the goblin's wearing and the suit. Okay. Looks pretty good. I gotta move it out of the way because I think if I click on the screen, it goes away. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over here. Don't be worried. <laughs> He's saying, God, this is so much. We're going to go really, really slow. We, I mean, we've only been streaming for like 10 minutes and we already got this done. I might have to do a whole other thing. We'll be fine. We're not going to draw that whole thing. We're going to simplify it. So here's the goblin's head. Start with the ear. Whoops, I'm using the wrong tool. Ready? This might be inappropriate for Twitch. Uh-oh. How about this? What do you think of that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's a goblin. Here's his ear. Okay. And his little... <laughs> his little hat. <laughs> Other ear. He's got a nose. A little eyeball. Eyeball. How's everybody doing? Sister Slug, you okay? I'm going I'm gonna go slow. I'm going slow. Make sure you can If anybody else needs me to go slower I can. I know I'm kinda like I think I'm moving a little too fast on this one. That's right, this is only my second time doing this, so I'm trying to figure out like a good pace. Your Spider Man looks goofy. That's okay. Mine looks goofy. Look at this. Mine doesn't look that good. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. It's some goofy drawing. But I'd love to see yours afterwards. Okay. We're going to go back to this bit. <laughs> okay. This is the bottom. Like that. Okay. See that bit? And then these are his little teeth. He's gonna have a little sneaky goblin smile. Looks like a little hamburger. You got that? Okay. <laughs> okay. How's everybody doing on the goblin head? We're gonna work on his arms now. Reaching. Okay. That's one finger. See that? So we got an arm, and that's the finger. I do a little curly cue like that. Hands are a little tricky, so I'm going to go slow here. But just start with that little sort of looks like a G, upside down G. All right. And another one, just like that. Connect it. And another one like that you ran out of room it's okay you can move things around the way I'm drawing it is also look I'm kind of running out of room but that's okay little palm bit okay and his other little hand like that like that and then we're gonna draw his little arm and right there 
And he's kind of wearing a little, I'm like looking at it, he's wearing like this weird little leotard. So, we'll go like that. Worried where the other hand is going to go. That's okay. I'm going to put, how about this? I'm going to put the hand somewhere far away. All right. Here's the other hand. Ready? One finger, just like that. Okay. Finger. Just like that. See that? And one more down here, just like that. And he's holding, he's going to be holding a pumpkin bomb. Just like in that drawing that we were just looking at. But it doesn't have to be perfect. This here is going to be his thumb. I'm going to draw a little bean. That's like peeking out on the other side of the bomb. See that? And now we just connect it. Make a little circle to connect. Like that. How are we looking? This is where the arm is going to go now. Up and over. Up and over. I don't even really love how that came out, but we're all just going to do it once over. Let's see. A basketball. It can be holding a basketball instead. It's like a different uh, Spidey universe. Okay. His glider is going to have to be kind of small for me too because <laughs> it's like I kind of didn't make, I didn't space things out right. But we got the important part out here, which is Spider-Man's little tush hanging out. So, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go leotard, leotard. That's the bottom of the Goblin's little outfit. Oh, I forgot to do this part, too. He's got this kind of M shape at the top here, which is his hat. So, on his head, follow me here, right? Eh? Yeah, look at that. Now it looks like Green Goblin. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Okay. You see that? There's that crest. Okay. And now we're going to make his tiny legs. It's just like that. Look at him. <laughs> it's too hard to chat and draw. That's okay. I, I picked like a, a harder one today than we did last time. Is everybody following along okay? We're going to do the other leg. Just draw it peeking into this one. And down. And around like that. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's make his glider now. Well, here's the important thing. Very goblin-like posture. Okay. Here's Spider-Man's little ripped piece of clothes. Make it like that. It kind of looks like it's going to look like that. You can kind of make it scraggly, right? Because it's a ripped piece of clothing. But it looks like that, basically. Cool. And even make a little... So to show that it's like a piece of fabric. And now the glider is shaped kind of funny, but... I think it has, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to do my own little like imagination here. I know it looks kind of like poo right now, but it won't be in a second. This is the head of the glider and it has this little angry eyes. <laughs> okay. See that? One, two, three lines. Did you guys see that? I'm going to do it again. One, two, three lines. It looks just like Willem Dafoe. Okay. And this one, other side. One, two, three. What happened? You messed up? What's wrong with it? It's okay. I'm kind of like imagining the way, like the way that the, like the glider in the reference photo doesn't look like this at all. I'm just kind of like making it up. All right. But that's okay. That. We're going to kind of make like a metal, it's got like a bit here, like that. And this side too. Line, line. 
Okay. Oops. I messed up. Let's connect this. Like that. And we'll even make this little middle bit here. See what I'm doing? So he has like a little standing platform. Oh, I forgot something else. I think the goblin needs little angry eyebrows. Because he knows what he's doing. All right, how are we looking? Let's let me zoom out here. Let's look at the whole thing. <laughs> Does it look good? All right. I'm curious to see how everybody else's look. This was kind of a tough one, but I think it came out good. I think maybe I don't want to overkill it. Sometimes when I'm working on a drawing. It feels like there hits a point where I'm overcooking it. And what I mean to say by that is like sometimes you can keep it simple and it translates just fine. And then the more little things that you add, it's like it gets a little weird. But in this case, I think it's I think it'll be OK. We're going to just add some buildings in the background. <laughs> OK, we're going to add some buildings. So, line, line, buildings are easy to draw, line, this one will make like an Empire State Building, so it's going up, see that, down, now we don't want to get in the way of the spidey senses, but I think we're good. How's this looking? Pre your this is post nine eleven. Look at that. I think this would look really good with color. Do you guys have colored pencils with you? Like if we colored, do you want to color it with me? Or do you only have a pen and paper? I told you guys only to bring a pen and paper, so I kind of feel bad if we started doing stuff that the rest of you guys don't have. Let me zoom out. Should I color it? You have gel pens. If you have, if you have color, we can color it together. Let's try this. You know, the other thing is that I'm kind of new to this whole thing, so I feel like there's a chance I might screw it up. How do I move this down? See, I'm already messing up. Uh, new raster layer. Hmm. All right, it's fine. We'll do a bucket fill. Easy enough. Let's see. All right, so Spider-Man's costume. We'll start with this red color. Is the drawing mostly done? Look at that. Finger, finger, finger. This. And then his little boots are red too. Oh, and the spider. I know, obviously I'm using bucket fill, so I'm going a lot faster. If you guys have color, that's why I was trying to figure out. Let me see if I can do this, hold up. How do I move this down? There we go. Oh, okay, wait, this is better. This is way better. Let me try a paintbrush. Oh, yeah, it looks cool. All right, I'm coloring in this bit blue. Drawing's mostly done, yeah. Okay, blue. How was everybody's Monday? Is everybody back to work? And then we got his little, I'm gonna use this color. 
His skin tone. Actually, we'll make it a little on the pink side because it's funny for his butt. Just like that. Terrible. What was terrible? <laughs> Your Spider Man has a hand kill ass. Good. All right, Goblin is green, of course. Look at that. This is looking very good. His arms and hands are green. And his legs are also green. And this one down here. All right, let's go purple. You don't have anything to color with. That's okay. Should we draw another quick thing? Because this one, I feel like we kind of finished this one kind of quick. Oh, here, this is what's going to drive home the... Look, his little ass got ripped. This is the... Look at that. All right. Oh, I just realized. We're going to do green. And then this one's orange. His little pumpkin bomb. What color is a goblin glider? Should make it like, we'll make it like gray. Grayish purple. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, I like this texture too. I've never used this brush before actually, but it looks nice. <laughs> it looks good. Should we color the background too, I guess? Kind of keep it like a... Yeah, like that. Maybe I'll make the brush a little bigger. Is that too big? Oh, jeez, that's huge. Oh my god, look at this brush. That's better. You can put a layer behind it all. Don't worry about the... Oh, that's a good point. Maybe that's the way to do it. I know. See, I'm struggling with the layers. Let's go right here. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, it's still kind of bleeding through, huh? I think it's this bed. It's this type of brush. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for us. <laughs> this kind of looks. Oh, this looks crazy. All right, let's go down here. Yeah, and get that little bit. Hmm. Looking good. We are all out here learning. Is there a Discord? Well, I have a. There's a Cold Cuts Discord. If you'd like to subscribe to a Patreon, me and my friend Zach, aka Yola Swag Studios, uh, we have a podcast that we do as a joint thing, and that podcast has a Patreon, which is Cold Cuts. Uh, patreon.com slash cold cuts and if you want to watch us on youtube it's youtube.com slash cold cuts pod all right and when you subscribe to the cold cuts patreon you get a discord invite which in my opinion is actually the best benefit because you get to hang out with us and it's fun and there's a lot of cool guys in there i think a lot of them are in this chat right now 
where the happy little trees maybe we'll do a happy little tree after this all right we are going to do one more drawing that was fun let's do one more drawing do you guys have another piece of paper it's not 45 it's five dollars to join the patreon let's see at the lowest tier all right let's go new we're gonna make one more thing I'm gonna show you guys how to draw. What should I draw? What do you guys wanna learn how to draw? Is there any requests? This was the only thing that I had planned today, but we could do one other little like, we could do another one. Cause this went kinda of quick. Hmm. Can you show us how to draw Sonic? Yeah, I can show you how to draw Sonic like off the dome. Sure, okay, let's do Sonic. Can you draw my dog? Boshite's Rising, Big Tank. How to draw Beetle. Oh, that would be good. I could show you how to draw him, right? Send him to the Patreon. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you how to draw Beetle. That'd be fun. I draw him so much, and he's really easy to draw. Okay, let's do that. Get another piece of paper. We're starting over. Something new. All right, so the way that I draw Beetle is and that's my little character dream on the hedgehog if you show me a, a source image i can draw that one all right here's how i draw beetle and also whenever i send out little i just dropped off a ton of prints at the uh, post office today but i'd show you anytime i send out a print i always draw my little guy on those envelopes too so i've drawn him probably a million times over but there's a few variations but i'm gonna show you all right Start with his nose. He has this little proboscis, which goes like this. Like that. Okay. Got the little curvy nose. And then his eye kind of peeks out from behind the thing. And another one over here. Okay. And I always kind of tend to draw his eyes going in like different directions because it's just funny to me. Okay. And now my character, he wears a hood. He's wearing like a robe. Which actually I didn't mean it to mean to do it when I first drew the guy, but it does make drawing him in general very easy because you really don't have to worry about like legs or anything anyway so you go head goes up a little bit just like that and then the antennas come up which looks like that with a little bulb at the end and that a forehead and another one Okay, close it, here, and this one comes down a bit, just like that, a little wonky, but looks good, and now this is the, wow, there's so many people following, how you guys doing? All right, this is the little... What do you call it it's on the robe but it's like it's like a decorative piece that I put around there to kind of just add something so start with that line up top here Froob, what's happening man okay ready it comes down like that to a curve okay and this way too cool Kind of made his head a little big here, but that's all right. This is the top part of his head. Comes up. Over. Just like that. How's this? This is Clip Studio Paint. Now, I can't exactly even advocate for Clip Studio Paint because this is seriously like my third time using it ever. 
Um, but it is, it's been pretty straightforward. There were a few kinks that I had to iron out, but it's not so bad. Let me make that little line connect. And then make little arms for my guy. Now he's wearing a robe, remember? So just like that. And like that. And then the robe comes all the way down to here. Now, I do sometimes draw them with shoes, but maybe we'll draw the shoes. This. Like that. Like that. How did I come up with the character design? I don't know. I think um, I kind of had it in my head that I needed a, like I wanted a little persona or a character to make um, I don't know. It, it's like it seemed more fun to like sort of like role play kind of as like another sort of character on Twitter when I joined, and so it was the it was something that I came up with. I always kind of draw little characters like this in general, like little alien looking guys, and um, I came up with that name Beetle Moses, and this is sort of what the character looked like in my head. So yeah, it's basically my persona. Normally, yeah, no, I had, yeah, Rube is asking, what's the normal production app? I don't, um, I actually draw everything by hand, usually. Uh, so everything goes, I, I showed on my last stream, but a lot of you guys are new. I don't know where I put it, my, I draw everything in a little book. I'm just trying to have one. <laughs> this. Yeah, this is my most current one. So, for example, this is the eel one that I posted on there. It says how, like that, where he's looking at a list. I just use pen and paper. So I use a micron, boop, on a piece of paper. And then, uh, yeah, and then what I do is I photograph it on my phone. Uh, I turn the contrast way up so it looks like totally black and white. <laughs> I'm going to upload that eel drawing. Oh, God. That's already been done. Uh, and then once I crop, I, I, uh, put the contrast way up so it's black and white, I change it, I send it to my iPad, uh, and I color it digitally on there. Uh, it's a little clunky, like the method, but, um, I do just like the effect that it produces and it's just what I'm comfortable with now. Uh, who, sorry if this is too personal, but who would win in a fight between DJ Khaled and Miyazaki? DJ Khaled wouldn't win a fight against anybody. Beetle because... I used to do that with digital art. I Beetle because Beatles and Beetle Moses because Judaism because he wants to double down on the Jewish theme. That's true also. And anyway, somebody did ask what kind of tablet I'm using. I'm using an XP pen, which they sent to me to do an ad block for them, but I haven't done it yet. But I'm doing this instead. But this is my tablet. See, and then I put some stickers on here, and actually I wanted to shout some of these guys out. Rory Blank, right here, he just sent me this one, along with a bunch of t-shirts. If you don't follow Bone Jail on Twitter, this dude's the, that dude is the fucking man. He draws so many cool things, sent me a bunch of stickers, and uh, this was just my favorite, but I, I had a hard time deciding. This one, blackened underscore pages on Twitter he made this really cool scorpion <laughs> wearing the Ryan Gosling jacket. I thought that was so fresh. I told him on Twitter that I liked it, and he sent me some mail to my P.O. box with a cool-ass drawing and, and a sticker of this. I thought it was so cool. Dude, that guy is the man. It, he underappreciated artists. And then this guy, uh, Uncle Doomer on Twitter, uh... He's the man too. He, uh, I talk, I've talked to him a little bit, and uh, he sells these really funny bumper stickers. Uh, and this one, a lot of them are car related, which I couldn't really put on here. But this one just said, uh, "If anything, yo, what's up, Gumshoe? Amazing artist in the chat as well. If anything falls off, let me know. That one cracked me up, so I got that. And and I gotta shout something else out. I just got some stickers in the mail. I'm so sorry if you placed an order before, like." yesterday they're not in your they're not in there because i just got them but i just got some fresh stickers which now on all future print orders they will be included in there which is um my little beetle guy 
Baby Beetle doing the Nene. They came out really fresh. And so I got a whole bunch of these. So now when you get a when you get a print from me, I'm throwing them in there too. Sorry to everybody who sorry. I just got them. I, I wanted to send them earlier on, but they came kind of late. But anyway, those are cool. And then uh oh, let me finish my beetle drawing here. Let's see. Oh, I just need to draw the hands, basically. I oh, god, I left like no room for the hands, huh? Let's try it out. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking so hot. Let's see. How about this side? Two, three. Doesn't look so bad, I guess. And then I draw I draw like that so you can tell that's his that's the palm. And he's like, What are you looking at me? Gumshoe, what's up? You know, actually Gumshoe, I was watching um like a really short clip of I know you have a drawing stream too, which is really cool. I'd say I think I uh, didn't um I didn't realize there's so many art streamers out there, but it's like, it, I'm having so much fun doing this. I hope you guys are having fun watching. Um, this one, uh, this is the one that we just drew beforehand before we got to the thing. That that This was the index card that I had, <laughs> had to plan out. I had to plan out what that drawing was going to look like beforehand, so that's what we did. Um, I know, I think this episode, maybe I wasn't as funny this episode, but it's because that drawing was really complicated. I think I may have like bitten off a bit more than I could chew with that one. I have another really fun drawing, so I'm going to start doing these every um, uh, Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m., and I uploaded that schedule to my Twitch, so you should get a notification every time that I go live now, but it's always it's going to be Monday and Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, uh, and I'm going to try to make it a regular thing, because I have a lot of fun doing these, and um, uh yeah, and I think I just think it's fun. Like I think I mean I enjoy drawing slowly so you guys can kind of follow along, and then I love seeing everybody's art uh, at the end of the stream when you send it out to me. Um, this was really fun. I know we kind of like kept it short again. I guess these streams just don't they don't tend to go very long because we kind of get through the whole thing really quick. But I have a good time while I'm doing them. So um, I would love to see what your uh, drawings look like. Uh, if you want to send them to me, tag them to me. My mentions on Twitter have been kind of wonky. Like, I don't I don't see everything that I'm tagged in. So, if you really want to make sure, please DM me. That'd be really cool. And um, Black and Pages, what's up, man? Yo, I'm so glad you're listening. Dude, thank you so much for the sticker. Um, yeah, love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, next stream I plan to draw something. Please draw with me. I, have, I actually have some really good ideas lined up. I think this one was a little too complicated. But I'm kind of ironing out the kinks so we can all, like, kind of, you know all work on it together at the same pace but um thanks so much guys all right i'm gonna log off now but uh, i will see you on twitter i'll see you on instagram uh and i'll see you in the discord bye guys